and it'll show them previews of these websites that I've made previous times. Chosen Galleria. Alright, now that I have my content or and my titles, I can either there's a few things I can do to this. I could add a description to the bottom of each of these. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just do like a white box right here. New layer. Oops. Let's drag this up. I'm just gonna get white. Fill that in. Now this is gonna be you can put a little description, change this font size to fourteen. Could be like this website showbiz was actually designed by a friend of mine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give credit to him on that. Just something like that. Just a little content area for your site. And if you want, you can change the background color. To be honest, I really don't like that white. Like it just doesn't match. I'd probably do just an even darker gray than our background and add stroke to it. Let's try that. I'm just gonna go to blending options on that white layer I made. I'm gonna go to color overlay. I'm just gonna choose a different color gray. I'm gonna add stroke. Probably just one pixel on the outside. Oops. But I mean that looks a little bit nicer than just plain white. Probably change this to something lighter. Alright, there's just a couple things you can do with this area. Now this isn't all designed by him, it's all coded by me, but I'm just going to go ahead and add this just to fill in some space here, complete this. So once you have your content area, however you decide to do your content area, I'm going to go ahead and copy the nav bar right here and we're going to be creating the footer. So I'm just going to click here I'm just going to paste this in, make this a darker color text. And we're going to make it smaller, doing 12 Arial. You don't want your nav text to be too big, just because, or your footer nav, because it's just there for a quick reference. It's not supposed to stick out too much. You don't want anything too flashy on your footer. Usually it's just for copyright and an extra nav if you feel like it, but it's not always recommended. Added little dividers into this. Alright, once you have your extra nav, I'm going to go ahead and add a copyright. I'm going to put copyright. And if you hold Alt and press 0169 on your right keypad, it will make the copyright symbol. Put in 2009, comma, gfxcube.net, all rights reserved. I'm going to center this up. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, in later sections, you could create your contact page, your about page, your home page. You can create all that just by changing this one content area. Um, this ends the tutorial. If you want to find the PSD to this tutorial, you can do so by going to gfxcube.net. Also, later tutorials will be showing how to code this exact tutorial in Dreamweaver. So, thank you for checking out my tutorials. Before, be sure to check out gfxcube.net. And, see you on the next tutorial.